What is up YouTube, Ultimate Lock here. I'm gonna be going over my massive Pokemon game collection. This collection has taken me three years to accumulate. I've been just slowly and sh but surely collecting games, getting them as many t as I can by uh, basically buying up lots, breaking them down, keeping the games that are left over that I actually basically get for free. And this is how I've made this gigantic collection. So uh, yeah, first off, uh, I've gotten many messages asking me to do an update video. That's why I'm doing this. Uh, as you can see here, last time I had enough room on my desk to put out every single game. Now I do not have such room. Uh, basically, majority of the Game Boy through GBA games just cover the entire thing. And then the DS games uh, are only the high-valued ones. The other ones I have in plastic cases, which I'll be showing you guys shortly. And, uh, let me go off and give you like a little hover of everything. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. Uh, these are all real, obviously. There'd be zero point collecting counterfeit games. And the way you can tell if they're real by just looking at the E. The E is uh, in bold. If it's really skinny, then that usually means it's a counterfeit. Sometimes if the E is bold and it's not like really shiny holographic, then that means that the game is also counterfeit. It really is really difficult to see via eBay. But the majority of the time, if it's bold, then it's real. Uh, you can also tell by, if you look at the back, this is only for uh, emeralds, uh, sapphire, and ruby. Look at the back, there's three dots right here. These three dots basically mean that the, the uh, game is real. If there's a thousand dots, you can see in the back of it, that means it's a counterfeit. Because that's what how the uh, Chinese ripoff ones look like. But yeah, I've just been collecting slowly but surely. And I ended up getting up to this. It's pretty insane. I didn't think it would ever get this big. And uh, yeah, also I'm going to be doing the giveaway. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is go off and leave a comment and like the video and subscribe, of course. And uh, yeah, the giveaway is for a 23 karat gold Pikachu, Tokopi, and Poliworld. Uh, these were the Burger King promotional things. And they're really cool looking. I don't have the cases with them. So this is the way you'll be receiving them. And worst case scenario, if you're not into this sort of thing, you can always just put it on eBay, no hard feelings. The three of these is worth about 25 to $30 on eBay. So it's pretty nice. You can enjoy a nice steak dinner or something along those lines. And once I hit the 500 subscriber mark, I'll be giving away a brand new 23K uh, gold trading card Polyworld. And then once I hit probably like another subscriber mile mark i'll start giving away pokemon games because obviously i have quite a few of those and uh, i'm sure people would rather have those than uh, other giveaway stuff because obviously my channel is just it's either ebay videos or it's pokemon uh, collection update videos so uh let's go over this so the reason why i didn't do a video in a while is because i've been pretty much waiting for these to come in uh Last time I ended up going off and uh, doing a collection update video, it took me two hours to put all the games back in the original cases. So I figured these are just better. Uh, I can store these much more easily and I don't have to go off and put them back inside the case. So these are all the diamonds I have. All right. move on the pearls and I'm pretty sure I got right now the world's largest uh, Pokemon game collection that aren't spin-offs because if you were to actually buy the spin-off games there's some of the uh, mystery dungeon games that are just absolutely worthless and you could buy like a hundred of them or like a thousand of them for a thousand dollars but uh, yeah, I got an insane amount. I'll actually probably do a count afterwards. I'll put that in the description of how many I actually have. But the numbers do change because I do end up trading them sometimes. For other games, like uh, I remember I traded a few of the reds for uh, some Pokemon Crystals. Because I like Crystal more. Okay, Pokemon Blacks. Then Black Twos. And that's it for the games. As you can see here, I don't know if I saw the uh, 3DS games or everything, but all the Soul Silvers. And 
if you do buy games from GameStop, be extremely careful because they do sell counterfeit games. Uh, if you buy their GBA games, I can almost tell you with like 100% certainty that most likely you're going to get a Japanese ripoff game because uh, they do not know how to tell counterfeit games. And if they do know how to tell counterfeit games, then they just simply do not care. And that is a, a problem when you actually care about the games that you're getting and you don't want to get a counterfeit because obvious save problems, game resets, or the game just crashes in general. So, uh, yeah. Uh... Hopefully I can get, I think the goal was 729, whatever the current Pokedex was. But you know, Nintendo just released, or is going to release, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Which means that the Pokedex is going to go up, which means that I'm going to need to get more Pokemon games. And sooner or later, I will eventually hit that where I have as many Pokemon games as I do uh, Pokemon that actually exist. I shouldn't say actually exist, but are in the game. Uh, by the Pokedex, so that's the goal right now, see how many games I can get, uh, it, it's going to be insane, and I know a lot of people are going to be like, why the fuck are you doing this, real reason why, it's just because it's fun, and there's really no loss to it, I'm getting the games for practically free by breaking down lots, so as always, thanks for watching, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and peace out.